In the palance, there are three different ways that you can go up in severity, um, depending on, on the mouth of the horse. The biggest thing is the length of the shank, and the length below the mouthpiece and on top of the mouthpiece. The length of the shank is what gives you the pull and the leverage. The shorter the pelon is, is the softer. The longer you go on the shank is the more severe one. Then you have the curve chain. The tighter you put a curve chain, the more severe you're going on a horse's mouth. The looser you put a curve chain, the lighter you're going on the horse. And then inside the mouthpiece of the pellets, there are straight bars on pellets that would be the softest on a horse, plus the thickness of the mouthpiece. The wider is the softer, or you can go with rubber, which is softer, or you can go up with the bridge. As I mentioned before, the higher the bridge, the more severe the bit is. Or you can go into what the Argentines call the cojero. And also the cojero has the bridge and it's added in the middle a little ball that horses can play with and it keeps them entertained. But again, the bridge of a cojero is, is much, 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 much severe than a normal smooth bridge. There are also different variations that make the gag more severe or less severe. One being the size of the ring of the gag. The, the bigger the ring, the more leverage you have. Rather than going with a smaller ring, it's less severe with, when you pull. Then the difference between the sliding mouthpiece or the steady mouthpiece changes the severity of the, of the bit. And then the last part of the, of, the, of the bit is the, again, the mouthpiece on the gag, the thickness of it, or you can go into what we mentioned before, uh, something like this, which is a corkscrew or a twisted metal, or a double, which is a berry gag, which it's uh, the most severe gag that you can put on a horse.